Hello friends, welcome to learn Corel Draw tutorial. Corel Draw is used for drawing purpose. Uh, with the help of Corel Draw, you can design logo as well as you can also design brochure, visiting card. Uh, if you uh, you have interest in drawing, then Corel Draw is the best software for drawing. It is mostly used for drawing purpose. Before Corel Draw, we know how to make drawing with the uh, computerized drawing with the help of pen brush. But pen uh, as compared to Corel Draw, pen brush has so many limitations. When Corel Draw is a advanced software for drawing, it is a very advanced software, very simple software for drawing. If you know drawing, then also you can use Corel Draw. If you don't know drawing, then also you can use Corel Draw. Okay, this is a very simple and useful software. Whenever you we op open Corel Draw, then this is the interface of Corel Draw. Here we use X6 version. Okay, you can use any other version. Uh, if uh, you open the Corel Draw, then there is option of New Document. If you click on New Document, then you will get this uh, interface. Okay, this is page. Okay. Uh, this page, the size of this page is letter size that is 8.5 by 11. Okay, this is a let letter size. You can change the size with the help of this uh, page uh, page layout options. You can take a four legal or you can also set a custom size. You can also decrease increase size with the help of this page dimensions. Okay, you can also take portrait or landscape page. Okay, in case of portrait and landscape, height and width get swept. Uh, you can also choose the unit. You can choose millimeter, centimeter, picas like this. Okay, this is your page. Okay, but we know that actually we, when you actually we see this page, then this page is a uh, is like a full size notebook. Then your first task, if you want to create anything on this page then your first task is to zoom this page click on zoom tool this is toolbox here we have a number of tools okay if you uh, go to this small arrow then it will show you more tools or more sub options uh, when you uh, say you, if you know how to use color draw then you have to know all these tools Okay, then the first task is the short, shortcut of zoom is Z. Either you can press Z or you can click on this toolbox, click on page. Here is the zoom. Okay, like this, you can zoom the document. This is pick tool. You can use pick tool for normal working that is, if you want to move the drawing, if you want to resize the drawing, in that case, you can use pick tool. Now, here, here is color palette. You can insert color palette as per your choice. Default palette RGB, CMYK, like this, you can insert a number of palettes. Here, two palettes are on RGB and default palette. Okay. Default palette is, I think, uh, CMYK. Okay. Here, uh, you easily go here and choose the number of palettes you want. Suppose I choose this palette. In this palette is inserted if you don't want uh, this palette then click on paint on click on rgb now here is only one palette like this you can insert or in increase or decrease number of palettes okay after that here is the ruler this ruler is very useful because color draw is uh, as i have told to color draw is, uh, is used for brochure or Visiting card, you can also make a advertisement uh, in the color draw. Then, uh, for that purpose, you have to make your drawing within the particular size. Therefore, this ruler is very useful. It has horizontal as well as vertical ruler. If you don't want this ruler, then you go to view and click on rulers, then it will get disappear. Again, click on ruler, it will get appear. Okay. 
this is page this is color palette this is toolbox this one is ruler and here is the status bar okay this is status bar if i click any tool then it will show you are you the simple help of this tool after that this palette shows the number of pages here we have one page you can uh, on the with the help of this small button you can insert a number of pages okay here i use page 1 now uh, this is a properties of page because here we have only one object in front of us that is page therefore it will show the property of page if i draw one object then it will show the property of this object if i want to type anything then it will show the property of selected object now it will show the property of text like this you can check the properties okay now how to start drawing uh, before going to start drawing uh, i uh, want to i would like to uh, show you how to make drawing with the help of similarly made shapes okay after that one by one step we make our own drawing okay then here is the rectangle choose rectangle the shortcut key is f6 you can simply draw here rectangle okay here is the color filling process is very simple too simple uh, simply click on object take the pick tool and click on color okay directly color is filled now with the help of uh, uh, rectangle tool is used only to draw the rectangle now the other task is performed by using the pick tool you can simply resize the shape with the help of pick tool as well as you can also increase decrease the width as well as height and as and resize but if suppose i copy paste this sub, uh, object change the color and i press shift and then want to resize the width let us see what happen it will resize the width from both side same for height it will resize the height from both side okay again i press control c for copy the this object is selected huh? and then i press control v for paste the paste uh, uh, object is paste at the same location where your first copied object uh, selected now i will go other the color and then press the shift and want to resize the object then it will resize from both side from all sides okay like this you can make a drawing with the help of readymade tool now here is the circle you can also uh, draw the circle, a circle outside and then if you want to put this inside the uh, this rectangle then simply use the pick tool select the circle and keep here okay you can also set a circle but this is only uh, rectangle and circle you can also uh, rotate this simply click here one more uh, one more uh, first select the object and again click on the same object then you will find the rotation options then you can also rotate this shape suppose let us give this shape this is our shape like this with the help of shift button you can change the size of shape like this you can also draw the shape with the help of this button okay okay now i want to select this three shape therefore with the help of pick tool you have to select like this only these three shapes are inside the bounding box the blue shape is outside the bounding box the whole shape is not inside the bounding box if you want to select any type of object 
then you have to set that object inside a whole object inside the bounding box now here i again use copy paste click here again copy paste click here okay again paste 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 we have uh, some ready made tools also to set your object like this but here uh, this is a starting of our core draw therefore we have to do it manually okay one more object paste This is not at a uh, full accurate. Okay, now create a circle. Place the circle here. Fill any color. Okay, like this we make a drawing as per your logic. Now I place the shift and increase the size of circle. Then circle is also copy paste. Again, place the shift and decrease the size of circle. Okay, like this, you make a drawing for only simple practicing. Okay, here you have circle. Here also, we make some drawing. Suppose here, I use copy paste. Now here, you have a mirror buttons. Suppose I take the horizontal mirror of this shape. Okay. There is no difference because shape, the beginning and end uh, of shape is same. Again, copy paste it. This is center point. Again, select this, copy paste, and take a vertical mirror. This is a vertical mirror. Again, I use here one shape. Okay, and if you want to create more accurate to here, give here different colors. You can also click here to show the more colors. Like this, with the help of this image shape, you can make drawing with the by using your own logic. You can also edit uh, shape. Suppose we want to edit this shape slightly. Suppose here is the shape uh, shape tool is available to edit the shape, but this is this uh, uh, edit the shape slightly. If you want, want to full edit this shape, then we will see in next sessions. Okay. Let us undo this. Suppose we want to then stair. Okay. 
like this you can design stair and you can also hide this now this object is uh, we want this object in front of all object then simply click here right click give the order in front of the page okay like this you can create any object as per the your logic just practice these shapes ready made shapes okay uh, here we use only uh, circle and rectangle but he, if you go to um, here basic shape tool uh, simply click here then you will get more shapes here you want this shape you can use this shape okay here is option to edit the shape with the help of this cursor you can edit the shape let us zoom it uh, if i want to uh, uh, some more thing in this shape suppose i take here one circle fill it with black color then copy paste you can also move the object with the help of arrow keys don't use the mouse use the arrow key if you want the shape on the same line okay now uh, after that suppose again let us go to remit shapes you have this shape but there is no way to edit let us take this shape okay this is uh, here is the way to edit Now again, go here. You can go here. Order back of the page. As per your choice, as per your logic, you can create a shape. Okay. Ah, uh, now here is the shape. Like this, with the help of this image shape, you can create a drawing. Uh, try this because if you uh, easily handle this image shape, then you can uh, uh, you will find easy to draw your own shape and edit that shape. Let us continue with some other features. Okay, click here. Okay, the the yes, default page is loaded. Now let us see today lecture. Let us see filling options. Suppose I draw something, then it will easily fill with the help of these colors. Okay, you can choose any color. If you want to shade up this color, then simply uh, press down the mouse here. Then you will find the different shades of this color. Okay. Now, again, if we want to check more shades, then here go to fill tool. Fill tool. The first option is uniform fill. In uniform fill, you have here number of options, models, mixtures, and palette. You can simply click any color. Here you have shades of different colors. Also, I want this shade. Click on OK. Now this color is get filled. Then uh, uh, here is you we, you have here three options: models, mixture, and palette. Within the models, you can also here here also you can choose a shade. Okay. 
here you have a lot of color sets if you go to downward then sets are change here we see the same yk palette here you have a different different palette Here you have different different palette. Okay, so not only same YK. Here you have default palette. You have RGB palette. RGB RGB colors are more bright than any other palette. Now, if you want to create any drawing for um, e copy or for online presentation, then you can easily use RGB colors. These are so bright colors. Here is the shade of this color. Here also you can choose the shade. Click on OK. Now the next option of filling is fountain fill. Within fountain fill, you can choose two colors. The suppose first color is this one and second color is suppose I want to choose yellow color. Is the shade is created. You can also move the angle of this shade. Suppose I use this angle and click on OK. Now this shape is filled with selected two colors now uh, here suppose you can also use radial suppose i use here radial click on ok here is the radial suppose i want the radial at, at this side then also you can choose the direction you can also choose here conical can set the horizontal and vertical center square suppose the horizontal is 0 and vertical is also 0 then it will set exact at the middle like this now I can go to fountain field here you, uh, you have only two color options if you want to uh, check the more colors here also you can choose a different shade linear clockwise anti clockwise you can also move the midpoint here you can also choose a palette but this is used uh, within the custom shape you have a lot of choice to choose the colors because here suppose this is first palette I choose here this one this palette I choose this color this one I choose this color then simply double click on this ribbon you will find or you, you can just choose a new color okay instead of radial let us take here linear and change the angle click ok now here is the different shades you are uh, in a case of fountain custom uh, you can choose a number of shades let us choose here. Suppose I choose here gray, gray color. Now here, if you want to remove the uh, these nodes, then simply double click on node. Then this nodes get removed. Okay, here I choose gray. Here light gray. Again gray. Suppose this one gray, light gray. I think no, this this is desired. Go again, dark gray. Let us see what happened. Dark gray. Now here I choose radial. Sorry, conical. Okay. And exact place the center at zero zero. Okay. Now it is look like a CD. Fill it with white color. It is look like a CD. 
like this you can choose a custom colors with the help of fountain fill here also you have square radial linear etc if you go to other then again our basic palette of color is open get open and here also you can choose a different color okay after that the next option is pattern fill Here you have two color pattern that are uh, we can also learn how to choose pattern uh, how to create pattern with our own choice click on ok ok while using this pattern field go to last one tool this is interactive field tool then here you have option of uh, small size medium size and large size ok you can also edit option with the help of this one you can also if you want to change the height and width you can use these options okay with the help of interactive field here also you have option of uniform field linear radial square two color pattern okay now let us continue with this pattern field here you have a lot of option and later uh, you can also create your own pattern then there is full color pattern as the name full color you can't change any you can't change the color choose any one click on ok here also you can choose small medium and large because interactive filter is uh, on therefore these options will appear if you click pick tool these options will disappear therefore if you want to uh, you, if you want to edit with that options then you have to use interactive fill tool let us see other filling options it is within the pattern field here we have a bitmap pattern bitmap pattern has images different type of images within this here also we can't change color only uh, these are the uh, pure bitmap Im images you can select any one suppose the this image is suppose we choose this image click on ok now this image get fill the next one is texture fill here texture fill you, you have a number of samples you can choose as per your choice You can also change your colors and see the preview. And if you click on OK, then this texture get filled. OK. Here you have a different color sheets. You can choose your color as per your choice and you can fill it. After that, there is postscript fill. For postscript fill, you have to on preview and then here these are some types of postscript fill okay click on okay and if you don't want to fill anything then you can choose no fill here also you have option of no fill after that if you click on color open this lock then you can directly change the color Okay. As well as you can also fill outline if you want to fill outline with different color. Look at here. Okay. You can also fill the outline with different colors. Okay. As I said, these all options are available within this interactive fill tool. You can choose here linear color shading. Here are the options of color. Now you can also choose radial conical same options are available here then there is two color pattern here you have a two color pattern you can choose a color from this palette okay after that full color pattern here also we have full color pattern as well as bitmap pattern 
and picture field here also postscript field but here it has only a type if you want to uh, see the preview then you have to go here fill options okay like this you can fill a like this you can fill number of options after that one more option is available for filling the color let us click on no fill here is the mesh fill in mesh fill you have number of rows and columns and as uh, you have to select the nodes and click on color simply select the nodes and click on color you have different type of color options you can also choose color from these options okay you can also mix this color by increasing or decreasing number of rows and columns okay you can also use this mesh fill like this suppose here we draw rectangle go to mesh fill choose here number of rows and columns here suppose first row has this color the second row has some different color next row you can also fill color row by row or column by column you can choose color as per your choice like this you can fill the different color you can also create a pattern of these colors okay rectangular or you can also use freehand either rectangle number of rows column or you can use free, uh, you can try, try it yourself okay like this you have a lot of filling options within the core draw try this filling option on different different shape and apply your own logic while filling this while using this filling options okay